So in Islam, you have to give a lot of respect to your parents and to the elderly people. And it is, a, it is an honor for a Muslim that his parents will become old and then he takes good care of them. And the Prophet has said that who, the person who takes good care of, her, of, her, of his parents when they're in their old age, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not reject the du'as of such a person. So then there was a person by the name of Aves al-Qarni. Aves al-Qarni was a person who used to live in Yemen. And he had a lot of love for the messenger. But he had not met the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he traveled from Yemen, from his city of Qaran, to come and meet with the messenger. Now the thing was, his mother was very old and the father had died. So he was the only one taking care of the mother. So the mother told him that, you know, don't spend too much time. I am alone and I am old. So he said, okay, I will just go there, meet with the messenger, and I'll come back. What do you mean? When he came to Madinah Tul Manavra, the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa was not there. He had gone on a journey. So then he came back without meeting the messenger. He could not wait because the mother was old. And he was doing all the khidmat that he could do for his mother. So he went back. The messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, gathered all his messenger. When the Prophet sallallahu came to Medina, he said, you know what, this one man from Yemen, he is such an honorable person in the eyes of Allah because he's taken good care of his mother, the old mother, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not reject his du'as. And the messenger said to his own companions that if you ever meet him, Ask him to make dua for your forgiveness. So then the Prophet ﷺ passed away. And Abu Bakr ﷺ passed away and it was time for Umar ﷺ. Umar ﷺ was the Amir al was the Khalifa of the Muslims. And Umar ﷺ used to go for Hajj every year. And every year he would try to find uh, Aves because the Messenger ﷺ said that you should ask him to make dua for you. For your forgiveness. So one year, Umar Razilano was able to find him. He was able to find Aves al Qarni. And he asked around, and people said, Yes, he's a man who's not that intelligent, and he's always in, you know, uh, he's always taking care of the sheep and all that. And the leader of the Muslims, such a big, you know, king of his time, Umar Razilano, he went to him. And when he saw him, he was playing around with sheep. And he said, Oh, Amirul Mu'minin, you are here. I am so honored that I'm able to see you. Right? The way we are, if you see the prime minister or the, you know, the president of the country, you'll be surprised that, you know, it is very difficult to see such people. But we have one honor, you know, <laughs> online, mashallah. So that is, you know, that is an honor for us. <laughs> In any case, so this man, Aves al-Qarni, was shocked that Umar Azizan was here. He said, Amir al-Mu'mineen, I am so honored that you are here. And you know what the Amir al-Mu'mineen, Umar said to him, you know what? He said, Aves, I am here because, because I have a request to make to you. I have a need that you can only fulfill for me. And he said, Amir al-Mu'mineen, what am I? You are such a big personality. You are the Khalifa al -Mu'mineen. You are the one who was close to the messenger. How can I help you? I cannot even help you in deen. I cannot help you in dunya. I have no, I have nothing. And he said, no, I have a request. And you are the only one who can fulfill the request. And the messenger has told me that Allah does not reject your du'as. And the messenger has ordered us that you should make dua for my forgiveness. And Ali Razilano was also there. He also said the same thing. He said, you should make dua for me and you should ask for Allah for our forgiveness. And he started crying. He said, I am in no position to make dua for Umar and Ali for their forgiveness. And they said, no, the messenger has asked us to make, to ask you to make dua. So then he made dua for the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa for, for Umar and Ali radiallahu Allahu So this is the maqam of those people who take care of your of, of their elders.